This video is going to show you how to use the hide feature when you're using the Cricut Design Studio. We're going to do an experiment with Locker Talk. I'm going to do the hopscotch. And to do the hopscotch, it is this one here, but it's shift. So I hit the shift and I hit the first hopscotch. That one is going to be the one in black. I'm not going to alter that one. So we're going to click next to it to bring down another hopscotch. To get the inner hopscotch, we're going to have to do to the first layers. And then hit the hopscotch layers. These are the ones that I want to do in blue. I'm going to pick out the ones that I don't want. And I'm going to hide those features. We're going to click on... The ones that I don't want, sorry, we're going to right click on the ones that I don't want until they light up. They'll turn red. Then you left click on them, go to the hide feature down here, click it, and it's hidden. Now you do this with every one that you don't want to be blue. You'll notice first when you go down to these features, they'll turn red when you want to hide them. Then after you've hidden them and you go to the next one that you want to hide, you'll see that the ones that you have hidden has turned blue. Now that I'm done out hiding all of the features that I didn't want, I'm going to click off and bring down another hopscotch inset. And I'm going to repeat this for all the different changes that I want. I want three different color uh, steps on my chalkboard. So I'm going to repeat this step three different times, hiding the features that I don't want in each one. Let me show you. If you hid something that you didn't want to hide, like this last one I didn't want to hide, Click on that area again till it highlights, then right click it and it'll down at the bottom it'll sh say show selected contour. When you click on that your item is back to where you wanted it to be. It's still there. Now as you can see I set my board up. So that I can cut them all out at one time on my um, my cutting mat. I set it up for my black, the blue, the yellow, and I'm doing it in red. And I matched up my spacings, leaving enough of an edge line uh, right where. So when I put my mat in, it's going to do all the cutting. It's just going to go from one to the other, and I'm not going to have to bother it. Make sure that when you put your mat in and you want to cut the right colors, you match your mat up to the mat on the board. You put the correct colors in the correct order according to the arrow on the board and make sure you feed the arrow into your Cricut. Okay, next I'm going to hit to cut. When it goes to cut, it's going to ask me do I want to use the jukebox. I'm only doing one cartridge, so I have it in the machine already, and I don't want to use the jukebox, so just hit cancel. Then it'll start cutting. Okay, as you notice, the Cricut is just cutting away. It's going to jump from block to block until it is completed. I won't have to do anything. As you can see, the Cricut went through all the cutting. You don't have to go through this if you want to make like three of the same things. You'll just alternate the different colors. You, you know, you cut the whole thing out and alternate. But if you're just making one, this is a way that you can hide that feature and just cut out the ones you want. I'll show you when I'm all done. Okay, our hopscotch board is all cut out. And I glued it down. I just used the zig uh, two-way gluer, the small one. And all I did was cut it out the the shadow in a very dark brown that's it